Humans make animals cuter. This involves not only in the fields of genetics and evolution, but also in biology and psychology for humans. So I'd like to make a presentation like interdisciplinary science and innovation that across various fields. Being cute is not only good meaning, but also has a bad meaning. By humans, creatures are selected that are considered cute to humans. You might think that it's a little bit something curious for humans to choose cute things and make animals cute, but there's real research. The dog has evolved cutely. This study, Kaminsky J. et al. 2019, found that dogs have more developed muscles that appear to look flatter and cuter compared to wolves. A special gesture called AU101 has the effect of making the dog's eyes look larger, slightly set and younger, the so-called puppy-like eyes. As a result, emotional reactions such as I want to protect and care for the dogs and love them can be elicited from humans. In the relationship between humans and dogs, dogs with cute eye expressions are more likely to be protected by humans and leave offspring and this trait is thought to have further strengthened. How about cats? Experiment used cats do not go well because they have different socialities from dogs, but gradually studies that cats have advanced communication as well as dogs are progressing and it is becoming clear as they evolve. By the way, I watched this video the other day, Sheila behaving like a cat. There were many comments in the comment section that I want to buy a cheater. This is a crucial key and will be discussed there. The media have a great influence on an action that people keep pets. The snapping turtle was popular because it was cool, but it caused problems of alien species. The raccoon were imported in large quantities inspired by the cute rascal animation. However, unlike that ca cartoon, raccoons are so ferocious that they could not be kept and were released in the wild. Just like the cat boom, there will be a cheater boom in the future, and keeping a cheater may become fashionable. I think this will not eliminate the problems of pests and alien species, and it will threaten human beings around, but I don't think such things can be understood by those who are instigated by the media. I think not just dogs and cats, any animals will be transformed by human interest. Especially, I think that it depends greatly on media such as TV and social media. For example, the red pandas would all stand up, the monkeys would all dance, and every animal's eyes would moisten like a puppy. In the video of a cat-like cheater, cheaters who are used to humans and who are not so terrible with food lose their original rawness. In addition, such cheaters can be ridiculed by humans and they may become flirting with humans as in the dog example. It will be un unavoidable in order to get food because human beings favor cute individuals. The cat boom also rises on this. It will make up a story on social media that it is the world opinion that all the people love cats or cheaters. By the way, this behavior is called cyber cascade or echo chamber phenomenon. In addition, it is not limited to cute and clever animals, but also ugly creatures and creatures with strange ecology will also be taken up and their characteristics will be exaggerated. Creepy cute, ugly cute, stupid creatures and disappointing creatures like deep sea fish, Pondriora cristata, Wasao who known as Busakawa dog are picked up flashly, then people will be amused by the strange creature and will jump on them immediately. Also, due to excessive protection movements by some humans, species that were originally supposed to be naturally cold will forcibly survive despite being unable to adapt to this era. In this way, by the behavior of human beings, only those with characteristic traits are selected or protected unnecessarily so that animals cannot undergo natural evolution and are greatly influenced by human values. The world of animals will be chaotic.
ぎれいみたいな。